Hey guys, it's me again. Um, today I'm not going to really be talking about um, like a specific movie or anything. I'm going to actually kind of talk a little bit about like special effects, homemade special effects versus uh, CGI. Um, and this topic actually um, was a suggestion from, uh, from one of the girls from work, uh, Blair. We were talking last week, you know, about these videos and stuff, and she was kind of throwing some ideas out there, and, you know, one of them was kind of like, you know, special effects versus computer-generated images and stuff. And, you know, I was kind of like, it's, you know, it's a pretty good topic, you know. Um, probably a lot of, a lot of stuff to discuss, um, and... I know a lot of different opinions on the two topics. Um, I personally, I really like sort of like the hands-on special effects um, versus the CGI. Just I feel like, especially now, like CGI, it's so like everyone kind of runs to it to just get something done a little quicker, maybe a little less expensive, but, you know, whatever. Um, like I said, I love, like, just special effects and stuff. Um, you know, maybe it's because I kind of grew up in an era, or at least, you know, an era where there was still quite a bit of, like, FX, special effects, and CGI was still kind of, like, people were still kind of figuring it out and stuff and uh, improving on it. Um, and I gotta say, like, CGI, I get, I get why people use it. Um, you know, I know there are some cases where you really need to do com computer animated stuff for, you know, whatever reason. Like, I get it. There are some things you just can't really create with your hands. But, you know, once again, I'm, I'm a huge special effects person. Um, you know, like, a lot of the Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, sequences, like, there's a lot of stuff in there. I mean, obviously they used a bit of computer-generated stuff, but a lot of that stuff, you know, like, in number three, where they have, like, the big worm Freddy that eats Patricia Arquette, like, that was real. There was no, like, computer-generated stuff in that, like... And I think they made, like, three different Worm Freddies for that one scene um, of, like, different, like, sizes and everything. So something like that, like, even though it was, like, such a small scene in this entire franchise, um, just something like that, like, knowing how much work went into that and, like you know, how many people worked on it and, like, how long it took them to work on this. It's just, like, ugh. Like, I mean, it took them, like, weeks and weeks and weeks to construct those. And, you know, like I said, I know it was a very small scene and, uh, not, like, a small, small scene, but, you know, a good couple minutes, pretty short compared to, you know, what the entire series is. Um, but, yeah, it just, like three different worm monsters like easily they could have been like just make one and the other two we can cgi but no they and especially too like the face like they had like the face move and obviously because it needs to like interact and like eat patricia arquette so i mean they were like though we're you know we're making three different models of this three different sizes and everything like ugh. like that is freaking awesome like that's Mm. Uh, and number three, by the way, for the Nightmare on Elm Street series, uh, is probably my favorite sequel of the series, and I think it's a lot of other people's favorite sequel within that franchise, but whole nother video there. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, there's that, there's, God, there's so many different things. Um, like, uh, American Werewolf in London. Not the Paris version, the original in London. Um, you know, like that, 
like I know like the wolf the actual wolf itself especially at the end like it was kind of like a robotic kind of clunky uh robotic wolf but that transformation scene with David Naughton Naughton I think his name is is the actor's name uh you know he's been in quite a few things but um like his that transformation scene you know in the apartment or the flat or whatever the nurse like oh I know, I know I've kind of put on, like, some of my status, like, over the years, like, oh my god, I love this scene, I love this transformation scene, it just, and you guys know what I'm talking about, like, you know, to see him really, like, you know, his hands are stretching up, turning into paws, and you literally see, like, the hair grow out of, like, the follicles on, like, his shoulders, his back and everything, you see his, like, spine pop up and like his face like they put like I think like balloons if I'm correct like little mini balloons like condom size balloons not saying they put actual condoms obviously next to a face but like small condom-esque type balloons like little water balloons I think to like pop up his face and get his like s the snout out and everything and like the eyes like I mean I and I don't I don't think they used a single moment of CGI for that. I believe that was 100% like just practical special effects, couple of appliances on there. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just, once again, like one of those, I just think of it, of that scene now and just like, oh my God. And like that, I know that scene took hours and hours, probably I think maybe even took like, two days I mean it's been a while since I've I've watched little like special special features on the blu-ray but yeah it, it you know and that's what I mean like I think that's why I love C or not CGI I love special effects because the amount of time and like passion that these guys and women put into creating these special effects and then like even the actors who you know have to sit through like this crap of like First off, getting made up, and especially in, like, a transformation scene, you know you're not sitting in, like, just one, like, eight-hour or 12-hour sitting to do that. It's, like, each little thing, you gotta, all right, let's film this, all right, cut, back to the makeup chair, gonna add a little bit of this. So, it just, it's so much time, like I said, it's so much time and passion goes into doing this stuff that it's, like, so it's, like, I think... You know, like I said, I think for me, knowing how much time these people put into this, it's like my hats are off to you because that's not saying that CGI is an easy thing to do, but I feel like it's a semi cop out because it's like, okay, I don't have to like have someone sit in the makeup chair for like 12 hours for like a splat of blood. Um, but I mean, and it's not just old movies that have these sort of like special effects or anything um like one that comes to mind even though it was released I believe actually 10 years ago um back in 2006 maybe 2005 is Adam Green's Hatchet um now there's three movies in that uh franchise so technically it's a trilogy but um like I remember when I first saw that um I know it was kind of like the movie had already started because I watched it like one night when I was I think I don't know I don't think I was at Harper anymore I don't know I may have but I was like I couldn't sleep I my sleeping patterns are a little better now but like back then when I literally so many nights where I just could not sleep for the life of me so I'd be up all night channel surfing came across Hatchet and like I said it was already kind of like a few minutes into the movie you know, I'm sitting there watching it, and they're, like, that first, technically I think it was, like, the third kill of the movie, but, like, the first for, for like, the the night of scene, um, you know, all these people get off this boat or whatever because they, it, the boat's wrecked or whatever, and there's this older lady, probably, like, her, in her, like, 40s, early 50s, maybe, and, like, uh, Victor Crowley, the killer of this movie, comes out and literally puts one hand here, and he's like standing behind her, by the way, so he has like one hand here, 
reaches around, other hand on her top lip, and literally, and, like, the camera, like, does this trick where it kind of does a 360, so it's like you see the lady, the actual, like, in the flesh lady um, in this role, where we do, like, a 360, so we come around, Victor Crowley, who is actually played by Kane Hodder, by the way, Victor Crowley in that movie, The Hatchet, um, so go around Kane Hodder's back, and there's, like, there's a cut, I'm pretty sure you can kind of tell, like, there's, like, a cut in that, um, so you come back around, see the lady, and, you know, at this point, you know, the lady's, like, going like this, and Victor's already kind of, like, ripping her head off, but it, like, just totally splits her head open, her tongue is all, ah, like, flopping around, but that, you know, once again, that was not CGI, that was someone literally coming up with the idea, trying to figure out how to do it, figuring out, like, what sort of, like, late text and everything to use, and, like, whatnot, and, like, okay, how are we gonna do the tongue, can't forget the tongue, like, you know, just stuff like that, where it's, like, it's so much more, like, having to use your brain, and, like, how are we gonna do this, that I, you know, I just, I love the special effects, um, but, I mean, then there's so many, so many scenes that I could probably talk about in hundreds and hundreds of movies, uh, which I'm not going to, I just wanted to kind of, like, give a couple of, like, examples of stuff that, in movies that I'm like, oh, like, I love it. Um, but yeah, like, and this is definitely one of those topics that I would love to know your guys' ideas, what do you guys think, um, you know, let me know, like, you know, let me know if you guys, you know, if you guys are fans of more of, like, CGI or these, like, special effects that are, like, actually done by a special effects team like Tom Savini or anything. Um, you know, let me know. And, you know, let me know some of your guys' like, favorite, like, maybe death scenes or uh, special effects scenes, you know, just because I know we all kind of have them. Um, so, yeah, let me know. Um, so I will talk to you guys later. I might have another video up in the next day or two, maybe later on again today. I'm not sure. We'll see. So, um, and once again, Blair, thank you for the recommendation. Uh, maybe I will even do another video on special effects of, you know, more than I might like. Who knows? But we'll see. But... Until next time, you guys, you guys take care and be safe out there.